We'll have a hello with the arrival sir. Today is a big day at the Kiambu County. We are here in Kiambu to attend the first ever Tattoo City Road Race. And it's a 100 kilometer race organized by Hashim Shatri, AKA Zuzu, and the developers of this massive investment called Tattoo City. This guy is very distracted as usual. This is Zuzu for you, Hashim Shatri, one of the organizers of the Tattoo City together with Nick Langford and is here with us to tell us what he expects of this race and what the race is all about. Zuzu, Naweke Mike Apachini. Yes, yes, yes. I expect uh, <laughs> people to suffer and uh, start cursing me when they come back here. Uh, I told them I'm not good in interviews, man. Uh, Say what you expect, yes. I expect people to suffer. Ah, Because right. I love people to see people suffering. And they created, yes, and they created this route just to see people suffer. I want to see people crying and blood everywhere. Uh, we have more than 150 cyclists registered. There's a 118 kilometer race and a 60 kilometer race. 118 is tough, more than 1,900 meters of vertical climbing. We are. Um, you know, we did it together. We did the root tracker together with him, and I, <laughs> he beat me despite my young age. <laughs> I think uh, I, you, you gave me a very good drafting, actually, Conrad. <laughs> you helped me through. You helped me through. Now, it's a tough course, but it's also very interesting. It's beautiful. Up by the coffee, the tea, the villages, Kiamwangi, Kiganga, and uh, Mundoro. A long way. Um, so hopefully everybody gets there safely, uh, gets there safely, there and back, that's what we really want. It's a safe race. Thank you so much. Uh, Nick has done a lot for the cycling community and to organize such a big race is not easy in Kenya because we are trying to make cycling popular in Kenya and it's not very popular. So to have over 100 cyclists sign up for this race is not easy. And over 150, I'm being corrected, over 150. I'm wondering how the roads will be. I think eh, there's gonna be massive traffic because 150 cyclists on the road means we are taking charge of the road. So we are here at the neutral zone and we can see big teams and the rules of the game here is that we are not supposed to attack each other. So here we ride at a constant speed of like 20 kilometers per hour, but in another kilometer or so, the race shall begin. Twenty kilometers into the race and we can see the main peloton attacking in a climb that is not so stiff with an ascent of 122 meters. But of course this is not going to last. So let's see what is going to happen because you can't drop people at 122 meters gain. We have now gained a total ascent of 200 meters and we are at an elevation of 1,700 meters above sea level. There has been a crash here. There has been the first crash in the first climb by the Seven Sisters. Crash of, of within Team Sosi and the Kenyan riders uh, Nakuru team. But they, we are hoping that uh, he will be fine, so he will continue to ride. But we are about to approach the king of the mountain spot. Let's see who will win out of the four. They are attacking each other. There they are going. Let's see who picks the king of the mountain. We have Salim, Gishora, and Gadere. And it is clearly Salim. Salim picks the king of the mountain. The breakaway team is attacking and of course Suleiman, Suleiman Kangangi is leading. They are attacking in the third climb of the 
Seven Sisters. First attack by the breakaway team as both root as Gadere now has been dropped and is struggling to catch up with a group of Gishora, Sule and Salim. Who knows, we have some 15 kilometers to go. Let's see if he's going to make it or not. We can see Suleiman Kangangi uh, opening up the gap like 100 meters, but of course he's doing it solo. So, uh, and then we have Gishora and Salim uh, 100 meters behind. So, my suspicion is that they are trying to drop Gishora. I think there's a game plan being executed here. They want to drop Gishora. There we have the attack. Salim has attacked Gishora. And there he's taken off. This is Suleiman. Clearly he's doing it. He's going it all out by himself. You can see how strong and powerful he is. He's shifting his gears. He's ready to take the last climb of this race. We present the winner of Tattoo City. This is Suleiman Kangangi. This is Salim Kimkenboy comes in second. We have Josfad Gashora who comes in at position three. Sule, how was the ride today? Uh, the ride was good. Uh, it was, uh... It's a tough race and uh, Tattoo City and uh, we want to promote the race and uh, it's good for the community and uh, we had an opportunity to come here and uh, yeah, we, we have to come and support the cycling community. Thank you. <laughs> good man. 046 is Gadere. This has been gruesome, an amazing race, beautiful, well organized. Thank you. Keep tuned to Conrad Cycles for more updates on cycling in Kenya.